Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's Jesse with Tree Stand Man Outdoors. Just made it out on the lake. First time this year. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty cold out today. I think it's uh, right around zero. So we'll see it down to negative 15 tonight. So it's gonna be a, another adventure, but that's all right. We've got good heaters and a uh, full tank of propane, so I should be all set. But let's get started. I gotta get set up because it's sun's going down. Prime fishing's about to happen, so let's see if we can catch some walleye. Finally got the buddy threaded up. There was uh, ice in the threads, so it's frozen up. Need that for tonight. That's uh, that's a must-have. Otherwise, I'd be heading back in pretty quick. Uh, we got a Frable Fortress XL. It's 100 square feet. Um, got tons of gear in here. It took a lot longer than I thought to set up. So I got to get fishing because right now is prime time. It's just getting dark. Wish me luck. So let me show you my uh, my fish finder that I set up for ice fishing. So this box I picked up for like 10 bucks at Walmart. Uh, I screwed the, the mounting base up at the top. I got a small battery, it's a 12 volt battery. Uh, just some connectors to the power cord. I've got my transducer and head unit. Uh, and then just a couple of screw, uh, two by four screwed into the sides just to keep it from bouncing around. But it's a pretty neat setup. I'll show you how it works. So it's all set up. Um, I've got it on traditional mode. I actually prefer that over the flasher. But it does have flasher mode. Uh, you just have to hit the back button. Go to flasher. And there you go. Uh, and that works fine too. But I like to see the history of you know, what my lure's done and where the fish have gone. For just about 100 20 bucks, I think you can make something very similar. Gotta follow. Come on. Uh -huh. Missed it. All right, it's dinner time. I have worked up an appetite. Um, it's a lot of work getting all this gear out here. So I've got some venison that's been marinating. Um, don't really have a side dish to go with it, but protein, can't complain. I've got plenty of it, so time to cook that and hopefully catch some fish. Yum. Mm, 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 mm. You can't beat venison. First fish of the night. That must hurt. I am sorry, buddy. I'm going to let you right back down that hole. So let me show you something cool that I hooked up with the uh, buddy heater here. So this is the big buddy. It's got the fan built in. Normally it takes D cell batteries, but I wired up um, just a USB charger. I'll see if I can put the link in the description for uh, you know the video that, that I got this idea from. But you just have to put a standard battery pack. And... the fan works and that's going to disperse the heat a lot better all right I'm heading to bed got the bells on for the night uh, so if those start ringing i will know we got a fish on uh, those tip-ups are just a they have a light on them so i'm a pretty light sleeper i'll probably hear it go off anyways 
hopefully we get something, but I'm not holding my breath for it. Um, right now it's negative 14. I just checked the temperatures, so it's not going to get much worse than what it is. Um, for whatever reason, that big buddy is keeping it a lot warmer. Uh, last time I went on an overnight trip in the negative temperatures, I had two of uh, those guys right there. Those are just the Mr. Heaters, and they're four to 9,000 BTUs. So I think that caps out at 9,000. That goes to 18,000, but the fan makes a huge difference. So I don't think I'm gonna get cold tonight. Honestly, it's pretty toasty in here. Anyway, have a good night, and uh, we'll catch you in the morning. Hey, good morning, everyone. We made it through the night. Uh, it's a little bit cold. The fan in my buddy heater died. And that really makes a huge difference. So I'm going to replace that battery and keep on going. But um, at 4 a.m., I actually was woken up pretty abruptly out of bed. This huge popping noise. And uh, let me show you what it was. That was not there when I went to bed. So pressure crack developed underneath me. So anyway, I'm going to grab some coffee, make some breakfast, and uh, keep on fishing. There we go. This little guy. Mostly what I've been catching today. But that's alright. Better than no fish. Not very good aim. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, these are tiny, tiny fish. Go on. Go back and grow bigger. Oops, sorry. Flag went off. But we got something. I think it's that pike. Could be a big perch. It ran for a little while and then kind of stopped. But let's see if uh, see if there's anything on here. Hey, a perch. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. Oh boy, look at this. Look at this. Come on, buddy. Oh no, come on. Come back. Oh, it's a nice bike. Easy there, easy. Nice fish. Ooh, that's a good perch. Ooh, there we go. Man, they just started getting aggressive. So the benefits of an underwater camera are amazing. So you can actually see when you get a fish, which I just got, um, but it saves your bait because a lot of times they'll just grab the tail um, and you'll set the hook and you'll lose your bait. This time you can actually see what's hitting it and how well they have it 
set in their mouth. Uh, so just it's your hookup percentage is a lot higher. But I gotta land this fish, so let me get back to it. Yep, here we go. Man, this is easy. Piles of perch down there. <laughs> well, that might just be a little uh, perch catch. Holy cow. That just shifted hard. All right, it's time to pack it up. Ended up catching over 100 perch today. A couple of pike came in to investigate, but they couldn't commit, so didn't catch that. Now, last night, I didn't get a single bite. Um, I don't know what's going on with the walleye, but I, uh, I don't know. I'm off of a point. I'm in a pretty well-known spot for walleye i'm on kind of deeper water where it drops off so i don't i don't, don't know i gotta if you guys have any suggestions leave them in the comments because i have been trying for a nighttime walleye for a long time and haven't been able to connect uh, anyway i'm gonna get get my gear picked up and head out and thanks for watching we'll uh, catch you next time